Hello and welcome to part 6 of the building blog for the Svensson Jungmeister. As you can see I've cracked on uh, and done the bulk of the build for the fuselage itself which has gone remarkably quickly. I think I just fancy getting my teeth into it. Um, since last time um, the stringers have been added to the rear of the fuselage uh, they're also underneath here and uh, over the surface of those stringers and formers I've added the skin which went on remarkably easily. Stringers have been added along the side so that when it's covered you get the you can see these through the covering. I did replace those in the kit the, the wood just wasn't up to scratch. Um, as last time, this is sort of roughly sanded out and blended into the skin, but the final finish on this won't be carried out uh, until much later on because it will get bumped and knocked and, and so on. So I'm going to do it in that order. Um, you can notice that there are yet more blocks to add to the tail. So there's going to be more whittling to go on there, more blocks here. Um, but what I'm really thinking about is... Although I've gone for a DLE gas engine, or petrol engine as we refer to them in the UK, I know that they are very, but, uh, very noisy. And the silencers that come with the, these models are something of a joke, uh, having no impact at all. So, I've got this beast. Now, this by comparison is a baffled exhaust made by DLE. Um, and it'll be far more efficient at cutting down the noise. If possible, I would like to fit this, but clearly, on a scale model, this can't be just jumped underneath or slapped on the side, but the fuselage is so cavernous, I think it's just possible that I might actually be able to install it internally. If I flick this over... I can give you an idea of the space that's available. So the plan would be, exhaust would go through here, connect up at this point. It could, I believe, go inside. I would need to add an extension tube onto it here and actually exit in this sort of location. But that's a distinct possibility. It would make for much quieter running, uh, which would keep everybody at the flying field happy. We're always conscious of noise issues. Although the club's been there, I think, for nearly 50 years, it just takes somebody to kick in and make a complaint and we're in a world of pain. So I'm look, going to look. I'm not going to rush into this decision. But I'm going to look into the possibility of installing this much more efficient silencer internally within the body of the fuselage. I haven't even ran the engine yet, so before I actually make any decisions, I will run the engine and see how it goes. But as you can see, um, the fuselage, it's a huge lump. Physically, in terms of length... It's not much different to um, a Hobby King Tiger Moth that I fly. But the physical presence of the thing, the bulk of it, is far, far greater. Now, I was, uh, or I have mentioned that the figure that came with the model, I thought was grossly overscale. Now, when I look at it, and imagine this in there, Perhaps it isn't. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to take some measurements of the head and see. I think in terms of length, it's fine. But I think just physically, it's too big. But it's a big model. Um, I have actually sourced um, a cowl for this. Now, I had intended scratch building the cowl. Um, but I can get it very reasonably for a fiberglass cowling and it would cost me more in material, uh, a lot more in material, to make it from scratch. So I'm going to investigate that over the coming days and see 
whether it's accurately it will be an accurate fit. Um, but there we go. The next task for next week will be the building of the tail feathers, so the stabiliser and the rudder and fin. Uh, they're very straightforward, as I'll probably show you next time, in that it's uh, simply a solid uh, core onto which uh, wood is attached and then sanded to the fuselage, uh, to the rib shape. I can't go any further with the fuselage until this is made because in there somewhere is the rear shape of the fuselage. I just need to carve it out and find it. So until then, uh, I hope that everybody gets the opportunity to fly this weekend. Uh, if you don't get that opportunity, please take the plunge and have a go at doing a little bit of scratch model making or kit building. I think everybody who's done it finds it extremely rewarding. It's at least 50% of the fun for me. Of course, I like flying the models, but in building them as well, just adds so much more to this hobby. So bye till then. Take care.